there are lots of false dichotomies out there like left versus right brain, nature versus nurture, you're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem, no room for innocent bystanders, um, mind versus body dichotomy where the mind without the body is a ghost and the body without the mind is a corpse. Quite confusing and an auto fallacy, I dare say. But then there is one persistent myth that is constantly or literally costing the lives of the male gender, and that is the distinction between the alpha and the beta male. <laughs> As the story typically goes, there are two categories of men that the world has constantly painted before us to accept and that's the alpha male. These are the males that you find at the top of the social status hierarchy. They have greater access to money, power and mates which they gain through, you know, physical prowess, intimidation and domination. This category of men are generally described as you know real men by the society and then you have the other side of the spectrum which is the better males they are literally considered the weaker submissive and subordinate guys that are found at the lower status and then they only have access to dates when this woman decide to settle down and go for a more co-headed cool guy now this distinction which is apparently gotten based on observing other social animals like the wolf pack tends to paint a very black and white picture of masculinity and what masculinity is all about now not only does it simplify the multi-dimensionality of masculinity and grossly underestimate what a man is capable of becoming it doesn't get to the heart of what is attractive to women I mean what do you see when all you have is a hammer you see nails right because I've come to realize over the years that in this day and time what makes a woman feel safe is not so much as to a man's size of course size makes us feel protected on a surface but then again what makes us feel that we are with a more masculine more um, high value and an evolved guy is his intelligence because there are lots of things that intelligence can solve that ego and body size cannot of course anyone can pretend to be an alpha male because the most authoritative looking man in a room full of people gains the most attention and that's the case here when we impose two categories of men to the world and make a narrative out of them thereby misleading young men into you know acting in a predefined way that is not conducive to attracting and sustaining a healthy relationship or even finding success in other areas of their lives. So I think that the term alpha male should be re-examined even though I'm not a big fan of the alpha male theory and I'll tell you why. Now I am not a big fan of the alpha male theory because the implication of being an alpha male means that you are in a constant state of competition with other male be it alpha or better competition is a good thing don't get it twisted but this attitude tends to lead to narcissism and ego inflation which is the antithesis of being an alpha male instead i would prefer a man to focus on becoming a stronger more grounded man a man who is focused on his own direction a man who is concerned with his own life and not just being a man who is focused on being perceived as an alpha male so with this framework in mind here are seven quick tips for you to becoming a stronger more grounded man okay <laughs> Number one, stop worrying about whether you're an alpha male or not. If you truly want to be an alpha male, the first step that you must take is to shift your mindset and stop thinking or giving a shit about if other people perceive you as an alpha male or not. Because the attitude of the so-called alpha males is the attitude of no fucks given. It's an attitude of self-sufficiency and personal responsibility without concerning yourself with the opinions of others. So if you want to become a true alpha male or as I prefer to call it, a strong grounded man, then you need to stop worrying about being an alpha in the first place. And then just leave your life the way you want to and just take responsibility for your life and the choices that you make and also have it at the back of your mind that the only opinion that counts in your life is the opinion you make of yourself all right and number two be passionate about something all of the alpha males share one thing in common and that's passion of course you would never find an alpha male who is wallowing away sitting idle watching hours of pornography 
not doing anything, not taking responsibility for their lives. You'll find alpha males in productive places who are trying to do the most amazing things with their lives. If you want to become an alpha male, then you must develop a strong sense of purpose and passion. Find a mission and give yourself 100% to it. Just become more interesting by trying new things and pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone. Number three, build a strong body. One of the few set in stones characteristics of an alpha male is a good physique, a good physical look, a strong body. Now that doesn't mean that you have to be like a bodybuilder or a physical trainer, but it only means that you understand the importance of having a physical health and you know that you can't have a 10 over 10 life if you're overweight or you're unhealthy. This might not be a popular thing to say, but it's the truth. So if you're not training regularly, if you're not caring for your body, if you're not building a strong foundation of strength, mobility, and power, you can't be an alpha male. So go to the gym and lift some weight, okay? <laughs> it's hard, but you'll be happier for it. Trust me. Number four, slow down and stand up straight. When you think of an alpha male, what comes to mind? Do you think of an anxious, giddy young man? Or do you think of someone like James Bond or Steve McQueen? Now listen, one of the key traits of an alpha male all around the world is that they are intentional in their speech, posture, and in their movement. They move slow and with intent. They don't slouch, they stand straight. They own their space and of course they exude dominant body language. And that's why they look intimidating and authoritative. They think before they speak, and that's why people listen. So if you want to be an alpha, then you need to slow down, take a deep breath, move, stand and speak with great intent and purpose. You know why? Because this is the mark of a true alpha. Number five, speak your truth without fear nor favor. Grounded men by very definition are very truthful. You can never find them hiding behind lies or telling half truth. They're bold and they're blunt and that's why people take them seriously. Alpha males don't beat around the bush or act passively. They speak their minds. They're not afraid to speak their minds. And they speak their minds with tact and respect. They're not razz about it. So if something bothers you, say so. If you don't like a thing, say it. If you don't want to do something, say it. Own your emotions, take responsibility for them, but make it known all the same. Cause lying is for the weak and stop prioritizing other people's emotion over your truth. Get it and get it straight. If you want to be an alpha male, you need to know that integrity is a core value of an alpha male. Cause you can never find him bullshitting. Number six, be self-reliant. You can never find an alpha male squatting with friends. No way! You can never find an alpha male leaving their responsibilities to people, to parents, squatting with families or squatting with parents. They are very self-reliant. Alpha males never like to hide behind other people or make other people take over their responsibility, whether as a man or as a husband. They take care of their responsibilities. That's what makes them an alpha male. That's your identity. Number seven and the last one, let go of what you can't control. Now, over the years, alpha males have learned to control what they can and accept what they can't control. Because alpha males have come to realize that they can't control other people or the outcomes of other people's actions. But then they can control their thoughts, their emotions, their actions. So in relationships, you can't control how your partner feels, but you can speak your truth in love and accept the consequences that comes with it. In business, you can't control your income, but you can control how much effort you exert and the system that you put in place. You can only control yourself, you can only control your actions, and you can only control your emotions. Do these and do your best and allow the dies fall wherever they may, and you will be on your way to finding your own unique individuality, okay? And that will be it for today. If you found this video interesting, do well to share, comment, and like, okay? And subscribe to my channel. Don't you forget to hit the notification bell to always get notified whenever I post a video here, all right? Thank you so much and do have a lovely time. Mwah.